Hello, this is Ilarion and this is JavaScript slash TypeScript web automation course. I feel really thrilled now because I just recorded the third video and yeah, just, just, yeah, I'm on the move. I decided to record the fourth one. So today we're going to talk about Playwright Recorder and not only talk, but use Playwright Recorder to record actual tests on real websites. And we're gonna write, as I said, our first tests and see how we should run them. All right, so today, again, Playwright Recorder and create an order tests and not only that. Okay, today we are recording tests. We'll mark this as done at the end of this video. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Recording first test. First, let's go to this website. I created just basically copy pasted from somebody else uh, this website, which I put on this uh, GitHub pages GJKill e commerce demo. And what do we have here? We have a simple website just for automation testing. So we have products, our story. Then contact form, right, with the map, cool. And when and we click on the product, we have the product page opened and we have the add cart, add to cart button. And we also have this switch for the colors. Great, cool feature by the way. All right, and if we click add to the cart, we will see the cart pop up here on the right side and we also have this button for the card so we can go to the checkout and yeah, just change the amount of the products uh, the, change the color change the size like whatever and remove the product from the card okay and let, let's actually let me show the fun, full functionality of this website did I just remove it and it appeared again? No, I added this one more time. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the checkout. In checkout, we have this form. Let's fill it with fake filler, fill all inputs. Okay. That works. Street address. Okay. Whatever it suggests. City, some city, country, let's say Canada, province, state, zip code, continued payment. No thanks, not saving info. No thanks. Again, uh, test card is this one. I'll just copy this over. Yeah, come on. Then any any date you want to put on here. Okay, I just revealed all my credit cards for you. Please don't 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 break my credit cards. I don't have much money there, so I don't care. And now I just created the order. Thank you for your order. I was kind of nervous for a second that this wouldn't work because yeah, I just uh, <laughs> copied this website from somebody else. All right, but this actually worked. So thank you for your order and your order number is this one and yeah, card summary, blah, blah, blah. This is the card that I used and this is the amount of, amount of money it took from me. Okay, so pretty simple website, continue shopping. And we'll use this for automation. What do we want to do? We want to record a test. All right, let's go to VS Code, open our project, then go to some website. Let's extensions. Make sure you have the Playwright for VS Code extension installed. Let's try to run this extension. Playwright. Okay, I'm not sure how to run it because I usually use uh, WebStorm or PyCharm ID. So this is this all VS Code stuff is new for me. Yeah, but I know that you can hit here the test and then right click and reveal in text explorer. And this will pop up the test like the VS Code extension for us. 
me close the terminal it bothers me let me close this one too okay so what do we have here pick locator reveal test record new we want to record new test right okay so i hit record new and it says recording it opened this window like on my another screen and now what it wants me to do is it wants me to actually go to some website and hit something on this page it makes it small we can make it larger another time okay i went to this website now i want to go to let's say products okay i'm already on products now i want to click on this gavin the tiger gavin the tiger and now i want to add this product to the cart adding this to the cart and now let's say i want to go to checkout checkout full name Elarion, then email random email dot com email uh, whatever then street address i don't know mm. freedom freedom and let's click on this one apartment i don't care city boston okay that works united states it's out of field province out of field one two three four five for zip code this field is required six seven eight nine ten okay i don't know what the zip code format is in the us come on this will fail every everything zip code in usa five digit number specifies individual destination list of uh, zip codes blah 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 okay let's try this one this field is reply come on let's try continued payment okay that worked that was weird okay card number four two four two four two now month 12 year 30 and cvv code one two three now place order thank you for your order okay and now let's select this element boom i, I just clicked on this one and now let's continue shopping continue shopping and we are here and let's go to products back to products okay this should be enough let's go back to the vs code and let's see what happened is there a button to stop the recording i don't think so but there is a button to close all, all browsers okay closing the browser and let's see what this gave us so we actually recorded every action that user did on the page starting from navigation to the website should i zoom in i don't know okay i'll just show you this way go to so it navigates to this website then get by role this is navigation navigation remember we clicked on the products on the on the header of the page right on the top then get by role link name gavin the tiger we clicked on gavin the tiger product then clicked on the button called add to cart add to cart then the cart opened and we clicked on checkout button there so this is click on checkout button then we clicked on full name click 
full name Phil Ilarian. Great. Then email, we clicked on email input. Email Phil random mail. Then what else? Snip card text box first click. Yeah, we clicked on something else and some text box. Then we did double click on email field because I wanted to replace the <laughs> the mail typo. Right. Then I clicked on street address, filled it with freedom. Then you, you get the idea, right? <laughs> I think you get the idea. Then CVV, credit card. Where is the credit card? Okay, here is car card number. Card number, month, CVV. Uh, I first clicked on it, then filled it. Then I clicked on place order. And then I clicked on thank you for your order. So I just clicked to make sure that we have it. And then I clicked on continue shopping, like go back button and clicked on the products in the navigation. Okay, so this is relatively easy. So this is just uh, English, you see? All this is just reading English. Navigation, get barrel product, and then do click. Then when we want to fill something, we execute this function, fill Ilarion and the text. So relatively easy and let's try to run this test and actually show the browser let's show the browser i know it will open in another window let me navigate here okay so it starts filling out the info okay and looks like the test failed so for this test it did not do the autocomplete or maybe it did Let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay, spending a few seconds going back to the console. I see it tries to find something. Okay, and here we see the error. The error card number, frame locator, get by placeholder. But we saw that in the test, this didn't succeed. So it failed somewhere. So looks like it didn't it doesn't see this uh, boston it says field is required maybe because this was auto field so we didn't fill this one this was auto field okay let's go to let, let's try the following let's try to remove what we have here below what can we do okay let's try to record this test once again just to play with this recorder. Uh, just record new, delete everything, record new. Recording. Do I have the website? No. Uh, what was the link to the website? Do you remember? JavaScript info. It was JQL automation. Okay, I'm going to this website. Going to website, products, giving the tiger, add to cart, check out, Ilarion name, email, some random email, street address, some freedom, freedom, apartment suit, then Boston. Let's make sure like two days this one. Then let's choose Canada here. Province, state, British Columbia. 50132. This field is required. Why, why is it so strange? Why this validation is so strange? This field is required. Okay, now let's click continue to payment. 42, 42, 42, 42 month 12 25 and here one two three and now we are placing the order that worked clicking on thank you for your order then clicking on continue shopping and clicking on products that's it going back to the vs code where is that thing 
close all browsers. Okay, and what do we have here? Let's actually close this one. Okay, same. Everything is recorded. Everything. Let's run. Okay, again, running a new window. Okay, everything selected. Okay, it went through. I'm praying right now. Yes, yes, it worked. Wow, this is great. From the second time. Test one passed. Oof. Yeah, but that was tough. So, it, it, it usually it doesn't happen uh, this way. So, you usually you struggle like t 10 times to record the test and to make it work. Wow. This means what? This means that this Playwright recorder is a great tool. Yeah, I'm really wow, well, su surprised. I'm surprised and I love I love all the locators here. Like it selects by the name, it it does the click. I can read through this code very easily. So yeah, I just want to say that I I, I don't know. I'm surprised and astonished by this Playwright recorder. Great. So what we just learned, sorry, that was some matrix. What we just learned, we learned how to record tests. Again, okay. reminding you again here, right click, reveal in text explorer, then here, record new, just go to this side, record new. Okay, actually it creates a new website every time you want to record something. All right, so then record the test and then stop the browser and you will have your test here. Easy. Now I want to show you one more thing. Now let's say I have closed all browsers. Now let's say I already have this test and it's working. And now I want to add something more to this test i want to if you remember like the last thing that i clicked on was products so i clicked on products and i was on this page products okay on this page and now let's say i want to continue my test continue writing my test for this I need to click on this record at cursor. So I set my cursor here. I set my cursor and now record at cursor. Let's do it. Okay, it opens again in a new window. Come on. Okay, let's navigate here. Boom, navigate into the website. Mm, let's click through these links. I don't know, just check some navigation. Then let's click this one, open the cart, back to store, open the cart again, click this button, open the cart again, I don't know, click on products, click on products again, go to contact. Enter your name, your email, msg message, send message, not allowed, that's fine, all right, yeah, so the, the, this error is related to the website, not to the playwright or writing automated tests, all right, let's close all the browsers. And what do we have here? You remember I set the cursor on line 40. And from here it again goes to the close this. It goes to the website, which we probably don't want to do as at the at this step we are already on the website, we are already on this page. So yep, closing this one. And yeah, let's see what it does here. Navigation navigation get by role link our story yeah we hit our story in the header in the navigation then we hit contact yep that was us then we hit on the 
shopping cart icon then back to store because there was nothing in the shopping cart then again on shopping cart then we clicked on remove item this is interesting because yeah i think that uh, that icon with the cross it has some name remove item all right then we click on shopping cart again then we click on products first time to close shopping cart and then we clicked on products second time to navigate to the products then we went to the contact uh, clicked on this input enter your name then filled it with Ilarion, another input email click fill click send message okay and now let's try to run all this boom i'm running okay again another how do i make it open in this on this screen <laughs> okay it's already wow that was fast it filled everything went through everything boom it just filled the contact form and that's it all right so what do we want to do next we just learned how to record the test we just learned how to record the test from cursor so when we are at the end of the test and we just want to record something here okay then what do we want to do next and for that we have the presentation actually let, let me show you one thing one cool thing uh, if I look this is our test you know all these lines they are kind of you have to scroll to the right to the left so long lines is not a good practice in programming so we want to make this file look prettier and for that we have to save this file and it automatically makes this prettier so this is considered pretty in programming so that you know <laughs> all right so we don't have to scroll like to the left to the right to read the code okay so how did i do this so i just hit Control s or command s s meaning save and save the file and it automatically reformatted the code for me so how to do this go to extensions and here type prettier prettier yep code code formatter and then install prettier i already have it installed so just install prettier you might have to again uh, restart the vs code and then what you'll have is just you save the file and it formats the file for you let's say i have something like this I, i'm writing some code wait boom which looks like this is this pretty no it's not then i'm hitting Control s or command s boom it formats the code for me <laughs> okay now it's formatted let's say i don't know let's say i have some mess here going on like this then click here then i don't have the semicolon boom it formats the test for me yeah so this is much better than it used to be like this okay command control s and uh, it formats the code for you okay this was kind of tip of the day then let's see what else i wanted to talk about on this video record from cursor we already did that then get locators selectors okay this is fine so look sometimes you'll have situations when recorder won't get the right selector for you so let's say let's say the test fails on this step text box and let's say playwright gets the wrong selector so i'll write here the comment this comment is like uh, some text which won't be executed so it's not programming test it's not javascript typescript this test 
it will fail here. Yeah, it will fail here because snip card text box, I added this underscore, so it will fail here. <laughs> it suggests me, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, let's imagine that our test fails here. Boom. Okay, and yep, that's it. It says waiting, 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 waiting. It cannot find this element, and now it will fail in a few seconds. Yeah, I hate when it takes like that much time. Or does it search for 30 seconds? Do I have to fill this silence for 30 seconds? All right, it failed, <laughs> thankfully. Okay, so this sa this error says locator click test ended execution log waiting for waiting for locator. So it did, didn't find this element element by this locator. Okay, snip card text box because we put this underscore, and we want to replace. We want to actually like fix this. We want to fix this. Okay, how, how do I remove this error? Okay, we want to fix this. We want to fix this locator. All right, so what do we do? We again, we open the VS Code extension. This is VS Code extension, and let's click on the peak locator. Okay, and at this point we can select this element. Okay, I just selected this element. Come on, I think it should have copied. Okay, so it just gives me this um, locator. Let's try with trace viewer. Okay, trace viewer. Let's try to rerun re this test again. Yeah, it should probably work in test viewer. Okay, it opens here. So it opened this test. Get by roll, locator okay, click. Let's quickly run this test. Let's run it. Let's see it. Come on. Run the test. Spec 2. Yeah, this is the test we are running. Okay, so it gets here and then it just simply stops. Stops because it cannot find this element because we intentionally put the wrong selector. All right, getting back to VS Code, we are waiting for this element to be found. And yeah, it will say that this will fail because of this underscore broken locator. All right. So let it fail. Okay, it just failed here. Now, yep, closing this one. Now we want to fix this locator, this broken one. Now let's select this option, pick locator. And now let's select this input. So I'm hitting this one, I just hit the click. And you see here in VS Code, I see this peak locator pop up so like i can click on other elements and it will give me other locators here i click here boom it gives me this one the correct one so i'll just copy this one over and paste it here boom that's it done we just fixed the test so some locator was broken the test failed we selected pick locator button, went to the page, 
selected the element which uh, initially failed the test and this pop-up gave us the correct locator we copied this uh, into our test that's it that's how we fix the test all right and one more thing let me show you the same but with the trace viewer so let's run this test with the trace viewer so trace viewer just gives some additional info Boom. Okay, while I was switching the pages it yeah so it kind of now uh, the test worked but now I want to break the test again here in this in this point okay we're running the test where is our trace viewer okay this page okay it runs the test now it waits for i don't know how many seconds like 30 seconds and it will fail because it won't find this locator this selector all right so here what we have for the rescue we have this button it's a small one circles like target emoji i hit this one and now i can do the same as i did with vs code pick locator so i select locator and it pops up here i can choose another one hey come on locator boom yes but by label so anything you might click on or select Okay, I need this one. I'm copying this one. I'm going to VS Code. Boom. First click, right? Let's try to run it again. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Okay, everything works fine. Now it. Now it worked. got to this page that means that everything works i just don't have the contact form implemented on this website all right okay so as far as this worked this should be enough for this lecture later we will have more errors and we'll debug more all right locator selectors we just checked how we can choose them with the peak locator again official docs as always suggesting you to go check out these two one and two boom generating locators recording the test generating locators yeah it just says the same peak locator blah 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 yeah and here recorded at cursor also really helpful feature so yep generating locators Cool. all right moving on i have a small meme for you if you've ever been a single tester qa on the project then yeah you can relate yourself to this meme self-taught junior tester working at startup all right another tip of the day use watch mode while running tests okay let's do this first yeah, let me close this one i don't like when there are so many windows open let's close let's open the terminal remind new terminal new terminal or just with the shortcut control tilde and now let's run tests playwright test ui again it opens another window <laughs> this is gonna kill me Oof okay so here we have our tests we have test two and let's run it let's run it okay actually i need to click on the test all right
Okay. Looks like this worked, test passed. And let's say we change something in the test. We change something, we change the URL here. And let's rerun the test. Let's rerun this test. And you see, it went to this website. URL, demo URL. Oh, come on. Yeah. You see here, it went to this website, slash URL. This is what I just changed in VS Code. By the way, if you don't have how to save. Okay. How user friendly is this thing? Code settings. Okay. Settings. Settings. Show profile, create profile, export settings. Okay. I have the settings. Auto save. Yep. Files auto save. After delay. Yep. It's probably what we need. And then you can set here. Let's say we want to auto save it. Auto save. Auto save delay. So we want to auto save our files after 500 milliseconds. Actually, I'll make it 200 milliseconds. Okay. And that's it. Th that's all you have to do to kind of auto save the uh, file. So you don't have to always click Control S or Command S to save the file. URL save save me okay and now we're going back to the ui mode and rerunning the test again so this is like second time i'm okay it went to the yeah it went to the correct page that means that it actually our our code was saved in the file Okay, but you see, every time I change something in the test, I have to, like, I change something here, then I go here, and then I have to click play the test, replay again. So, in order to make this faster, we can click on this watch icon. Watch meaning it will watch for file changes. So anytime we save the file, it will rerun the test. Let's check this. Okay. Boom. You see? It reruns the test. Even though I didn't click on anything. Okay, let's again, let me add more text here. Save it. It reruns the test. I'll stop it. Okay, stop. Stop. And yeah, it reruns the test again because again I changed it. Stop it. Stop. Okay. It stopped. And then again, I'm editing something here. Save. Boom. It reruns the test for me. So. Yeah, pretty easy. Pretty easy to do and saves uh, some time. Okay, so that was the tip for today. Just watching your files and uh, rerunning them automatically. Let's try record, to record one more test. Let's navigate to my blog. And let's click through some buttons, navigate somewhere, type something in this input, like whatever. Okay, to do this, Again, going back to VS Code, reminding you about this magic button here on the left. Opening VS Code extension. Now let's click on the record new. It says recording, opens a new window for you. And now let's go to my blog. Laron pavushka.github.io. Okay. Let's type something here. 
search search input then let's go to about me page let's go back back to the list of articles let's click on home on the same page hr interview questions and then let's click on about me again let's type some text here some text here okay this should be enough for our test okay close all browsers that's it let's see if we can replay this and this will actually work let's run this test in yeah with, with trace viewer okay let's run the test boom one worker yeah come on mm, run test the bug test okay let's run it this way terminal npx playwright test number four let's run it in ui great so this is the ui and now running boom Uh, that was fast we didn't notice anything okay so it goes to website clicks through the buttons put something in inputs and that's it yeah that was pretty quick so and yeah let me show you just that we can go through each action and see what's going on here input click on the button go somewhere else about me type something else yeah and that's it test finished so we just recorded another one just to practice this skill okay i think that was it for this lecture and today we covered one item from the list recording tests yeah recording test recording test from the cursor selecting locators like we played with the vs code extension again yeah so I think this was fun and I suggest you to do what? Correct. Go and automate something with this recorder. It's relatively easy tool. Just <laughs> hit the button, click through some website. That's it. And then replay it. Replay the test. If something fails, try to go and change the locator. Or if nothing fails, then go as I did. Go and do as I did. Just change some locator, make the test fail intentionally. And then try to fix it. Yeah. And go also read the docs. So on my slides, I put the links to the docs. Just go ahead and read them. All right. So coming soon, next lecture, if I'm in the good mood, I will record one more today about Playwright architecture. So we, we just saw that Playwright runs a browser, we are typing some comments in terminal, like we are writing some code in JavaScript, uh, JavaScript in TypeScript, how all this works, then Node.js, we have Node.js, like how all this works uh, together. Yeah, we'll talk about that in Playwright Architecture. And again, reminding you that if you don't know the basics of any programming languages, go learn some of these. The earlier you start, the easier it will be later. So yeah, go ahead. And again, it was nice having you on this video. Hit like, share, subscribe, like, and yeah, more videos are coming soon. See you in the next one. Bye.